Hello, and uh, I am Elias from Ice Age. Hey, this is Ice Age. You're watching What's in My Bag in My Home. I haven't had a record player for quite a while, so these are some old favorites. My upstairs neighbor detests me and complains a lot. So it doesn't really make too much sense to have a record player when you can't play things loudly. But I've chosen uh, an old favorite, Gitachu Mikuya, which was one of those records that would just always be sitting on my record player and ready to drop the needle and be like kind of a part of the natural ambience of, of the place I used to live. And it's the, the tonality is super interesting and the hypnotic ry rhythms and um, yeah, it, it's, it's really good music. I'm going to show you some records. The first one is uh, the soundtrack to Akira, performed by Gai no Yama Shirokumi. Um, it's got all kinds of stuff going on. It's got like gamelan style percussion and choirs and bills and cacophony of sound. Um, I watched the movie in like a IMAX cinema the other week and it was fantastic being blasted by all that surround. I highly recommend it. And up next we have Dusty Springfield, uh, The Look of Love. The look your heart can disguise. She's one of my favorite singers of all time. And I really like this song, The Look of Love, in her version as well. Um, Isaac Hayes does an incredible version of it too. I can hardly wait to hold you. Feel my arms around you How long I have waited One of my favorite songs lately has been uh, Dusty Springfield's um, I Think It's Gonna Rain Today uh, But that's not on here And I think it's gonna rain Today I've got Eternity by Alice Coltrane and it's a mixture of uh, Hindu spiritual and harp stuff, and it's really beautiful and transporting. It's a good record to put on whenever you need to feel at ease or a bit better. Then we got I'm Your Man by Leonard Cohen. And uh, Leonard Cohen is one of those all time favorites, one of my biggest inspirations with lyric writing, and um, I adore him. Um, and I, I love the way he used all those MIDI kind of cheap sounds on the keyboard with this one, and like kind of built through the drum machine. And um, I like all the songs except for Jazz Police, that's one of those songs that you you dread that it's going to come there and you're going to have to get up from your chair and skip the needle. So besides that terribly tedious song, this is a great album. Everybody knows that you love me, baby. Another record I like to put on to feel at ease is Tiny Tim's record. God bless Tiny Tim. And if you're not familiar, he's a very special gentleman who plays the, the ukulele and has a kind of a very high-pitched voice. He sings a duet with himself on the track and it's uh, just a really special gem. Highly recommended. Barry White's Unlimited Love Orchestra. You see him as the, the maestro here. And I haven't heard it since forever, and I think I bought it because the the record cover is just so swagged out. But it's it's a beautiful record to have in your collection. Classic rock, The Doors, Morrison Hotel, Hard Rock Cafe, and it's a, a favorite of the, this kind of classic rock music that's. It's got a drinking bar, it's got a 
shady looking hotel and it's just a really like funky, well written rock and roll record that is, yeah, way up top. And last but not least, we got Scott Free. And uh, it's hard to pick a record to choose uh, with Scott Walker uh, because all his solo records from his early days to his later are all masterpieces. Uh, but I think this is just a record that I've, I've listened to the most of his during the years. And uh, it got such lush and interesting string arrangements and it's just an incredible record. It's raining today. And finally we've got this quite late Jill Scott Herod record. And for some weird way this is the first album I listened to by him and it got me onto his earlier more soul kind of stuff, but it's got a really interesting production and his voice as an older gentleman as you can see. Maybe crazy. But I'm the closest thing I have to a voice of reason. This concludes what's in my bag home edition. Thanks for watching. Ice Age, what's in my bag. Yeah.